Second to crocodiles and alligators, birds are our closest living descendants to dinosaurs. And you know what that means. They are dangerous, and we should be scared of them, even the little ones. And yet, we don't really seem to care too much about these terrifying animals. From a hard-working vulture to the biggest petrel on Earth, here are the 15 most dangerous birds on the planet. <sighs> Number 15. African Vulture Given their reputation as the most notorious scavengers in the whole of the animal kingdom, the African vulture has earned its place on our list. But while they obviously prefer to let others do the dirty work, they're more than capable of causing some damage all on their own. Actually, they're quite good at it. The African vulture, also known as the lappet-faced vulture, is, for lack of a better word, massive. With a wingspan of up to 2.9 meters and a mighty powerful bill, this is an animal that could easily cause damage all of its own. The lappet-faced vulture is the largest vulture in Africa. And it does. Despite its reputation as a scavenger, the bird has been recorded multiple times as hunting food all of its own. <laughs> dropping on their target in a surprise attack, and basically ripping them apart with their bills. That's a lot of work for a vulture. Vultures are often characterized as the selfish, lazy scavenger of the animal kingdom. But that's definitely not representative of the whole species. As we've shown, these solitary creatures are still capable of hunting for their food and, unfortunately for their prey, they're incredibly strong. There's really no point running. The vulture is gonna get ya. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Southern Giant Petrel as a general rule of thumb, the bigger the animal is, the more dangerous it tends to be. But also, small animals can be dangerous too. So maybe this rule of thumb isn't a great one, but I think we can all agree that it sounded true when I said it. The southern giant petrel is the largest of all the petrel species, and it's a pretty aggressive animal. In the Antarctic and subantarctic waters, this bird is the biggest and most notorious scavenger. Known for its enthusiasm in eating pretty much everything, actually, the southern giant petrel has been recorded as eating penguin, seal, albatross, kelp, and even ship offal. And that's just what they scavenge. This petrel is also known for hunting fish and squid that may be lurking just beneath the water. On land, they're in constant aggressive competition with one another for food. In essence, these are the big boys at the buffet, and they will fight anyone who tries to cut the line. The southern giant petrel really does line up with the theory of the biggest animals are the most dangerous, even if that's not accurate 100% of the time. In this case, it's very accurate, and that's pretty frightening if you're a fish or squid. Although if you are a fish or squid, how are you watching this? Number 13. Key Parrots I have a confession to make here. While these key parrots are, indeed, one of the most dangerous birds on the planet, they're also kind of fun. After all, they are known as the clown of the mountain, so it's kind of their whole brand. The key parrot lives in the forest and alpine regions of New Zealand's South Island, and definitely worked to live up to their clown reputation. <laughs> While many birds turn their attention to attacking potential prey or defending themselves against outside predators, the key tends to use its spare time for some fun, playing hilarious pranks on humans. And by pranks, we mean pecking them stealing things, or just ripping the rubber from their cars. Fun! But while these curious and amusing birds are relatively harmless to humans, sheep don't really get so lucky. The key has been reported to attack and feed on sheep, alive or dead. 
that's some bad news. Get it? Get it? Given their habit of killing and eating sheep, there's no question that the key is one of the most dangerous birds on the planet. But they're also one of the funniest, and I appreciate all the hilarious jokes they play on us humans. Until they do it to me. Then it's just cruel. Number 12. Australian Magpie in many regions around the world, magpies are pretty notorious among bird enthusiasts for their seeming willingness to attack just about any living thing for food. In a way, they're the avian equivalent of the mob. And if true, the Australian magpie is like the godfather or the don, whichever looks most like a bird. Generally, the Australian magpie is quite tame. <laughs> and tends to keep to itself while searching for insects and larvae buried in the ground. But during breeding season, these tame birds become unusually aggressive towards just about everything. If they believe their nest site is at risk of intruders, the birds are not afraid to attack said intruder, including humans. And if you'll remember, birds are descendants of dinosaurs. So if you're attacked by a bird, you're basically attacked by a dinosaur. And that is painful. That may not be scientifically accurate, but it sounds about right to me. As of yet, nobody has died from an attack by the Australian magpie, but like all gangsters, it's only a matter of time before they decide to break all the rules and straight up murder a human. We all know they're planning it. It's not a case of if, but when. Stay safe out there, folks. Number 11. Eurasian Eagle Owl you probably thought we made a mistake there, but no. The eagle owl is a real thing. You know how nature is. You get one animal, you get another animal, and you mix them up until you get a whole new thing. <coughs> it's the Animal Kingdom's version of mix and match Pringles, I guess. Except that animals can kill you or something. The Eurasian eagle owl is a predatory bird that tends to prey on smaller animals that it can find in the darkness. Usually its diet consists of things like mice, rats, and other rodents, but they're also known to enjoy a big meal if it's a special occasion, including foxes, ducks, and even other owls. Actually, I would imagine it takes a very special occasion for owl to be on the menu. That's not a weekday meal. The eagle owl is particularly talented when it comes to hunting these animals, thanks to their large talons, sharp beaks, and territorial behavior. In fact, it's illegal in many countries to own one as a pet. In hindsight, the eagle owl has absolutely nothing in common with Pringles, but they are incredibly dangerous predators in their own right, territorial, and excellent at hunting their food. So actually, they're more like me when I eat Pringles. Number 10. Snowy Owl Harry Potter has a lot to answer for. Not only has he introduced the world to a whole host of sinister witchcraft-related antics, but he's also popularized the belief that owls can be used to send mail. It's not true. Owls hate mail. If you want to send mail, you have to get a snail. Anyway, snowy owls... Snowy owls can be incredibly dangerous animals, but there's a catch. They're only dangerous if we make them that way. Yes, here's another humans have destroyed nature story. Many people make the foolish mistake of feeding a snowy owl just to get a good photo for their social media accounts, unaware that this kind of behavior has a severe consequence for this species. The owl, which is not afraid of humans, gets used to being given food by humans. So, whenever they see humans, they associate our fleshy bodies with food and go to extreme lengths to get to us, such as swooping close to the road and potentially causing some traffic accidents. All because one person wanted an owl for an Instagram post nobody will really care about. So basically, the snowy owl is really an innocent creature that just happens to unknowingly cause some seriously dangerous scenarios. In fact, it might it might be easier to think of it as an owl Mr. Bean. Number 9. Red-Tailed Hawk 
While it may not have the reputation that the eagle has, the red-tailed hawk is actually the most common bird of prey found in the whole of North America. Chances are you've never seen one. Well, you should be happy about that, because this thing would rip you apart in a second if it got the chance. The red-tailed hawk is usually found perched on surfaces near North American roadsides, often scanning the nearby fields for potential prey. And if you were to encounter one of these animals, you should probably get moving. As a territorial animal, the red-tailed hawk is known to be aggressive against just about any kind of animal that enters its area or gets close to its nest. There have been reported incidents of the birds attacking larger animals like ospreys or eagles and have also be known to dive at humans who have dared get a bit close. This hawk is a dangerous and aggressive animal, capable of inflicting serious harm, should it feel threatened. And since it's the most common bird of prey in the whole continent of North America, consider this a warning. Do not approach, repeat, do not engage. Number 8. Ostrich Mariah Carey is to show business what the ostrich is to the animal kingdom. That is to say, it's a big pain. Okay, I'll rephrase. The ostrich is a little bit difficult and diva-ish, to say the least. Watch your foot, watch your foot, watch your foot. But we're going to focus more on another aspect of the ostrich life. This thing is deadly. With a single stride of its long, long legs, an ostrich can cover between 10 and 16 feet, which should give you an idea of the sheer size of this animal. However, more alarming is the power these legs hold. Like Jean-Claude Van Damme in literally any of his movies, an ostrich could easily kill a human or predator with a single kick. Now that is power. Yes, Yes, they can't fly, but their speed and leg power more than make up for what they lack in flight. Name me another bird I can logically compare to Jean-Claude Van Damme. You can't! Assuming that you managed to survive a kick from an ostrich, you're still kind of doomed. This is an animal that can run up to 43 miles an hour. You may as well just wait for the finishing kick and prepare for the pearly gates. Number 7. Great Northern Diver we're not talking Great Northern, as in Canada. Although I'm sure there are many great Canadian divers, we're talking about a bird that is… intense. This is a big, big loon, as in the bird, not, not as in lunatic. Although a little of that too, that has no problem diving underwater for food. In fact, the Great Northern Diver is all about underwater food. Diving as deep as 60 meters and as fast as 120 kilometers an hour, just for a single bit of food. Thanks to the red in their eyes, it's really very easy for them to see their prey lurking in the deep. But it's what they do when they feel threatened that really makes them dangerous. If you make the mistake of scaring or alarming a great northern diver, they will rush you and they'll attempt to stab you. So basically, it's like a good night out in any major city. Given their enthusiastic diving capabilities, not to mention their speed, this is not the kind of animal you want to find yourself up against. In fact, this thing could injure you with minimal effort. Hey, I guess it kind of is a little loony in a way. Number 6. Cassowary Heavy birds cause heavy injuries. That's a phrase I just made up, but it's rooted in some truth. Take the cassowary as an example. The heaviest bird in all of Australia and the second largest in the world. The first largest, you ask? Its cousin, the emu. Look, we try not to judge family members on their weight. Don't be fooled by the cassowary's weight. I really love apples, and this cassowary really loves apples. This is a strong and intimidating bird that is capable of inflicting some major, significant damage. On each of its three-toed feet, the cassowary has a four-inch long claw on its inner toe, which can slice open its unfortunate victims with one single powerful kick. That's like giving a boxer a glove made of knives. But, you know, this boxer is also able to fly. And if you think you can get away from an angry cassowary by, I don't know, running or swimming, 
better think again. The cassowary can jump almost seven feet into the air and can swim shockingly well for a bird. That makes it a pretty formidable predator and practically impossible to escape no matter what. This is another case of probably better to wait for death. Man, this topic is a cheery one. Number five, Lammergeier. Not all dangerous birds feast on meat. Some of them have altogether more sinister or macabre diets. Take, for example, the curiously named Lammergeier, which survives almost entirely on bones and marrow. Kind of grim, right? The Lammergeier's strong beak and acidic stomach make it the only known animal in the world capable of surviving on bones, though it has always been known to target live prey. And by target, we mean pick up with talons, fly high, and drop midair to their death, before ripping their carcasses apart for food. There are claims that some humans have been killed in this manner, though those reports are yet to be confirmed. Which means it's probably true, but the big Lammergeier fans are covering it up. Either way, the Lammergeier is capable of chewing through and swallowing bones the size of a femur, with little problem. making them just as dangerous as any mammalian predators. This thing is a formidable and deadly foe, and chances are there is no other bird on Earth capable of chewing through and consuming bone. I hope not, anyway. Number four, European Herring Gull. Not all birds are notorious for attacking humans, but those that are do. Look, I never claimed to be a marketing genius, folks, but the European herring gull is most definitely one of the most notorious birds on the face of our planet. And not just for attacking humans, but mostly for that. Growing as big as 26 inches in length, the European herring gull is a huge bird native to Western Europe, and one of the most significant causes of bird-on-human attacks. With a wingspan of up to 61 inches and a razor-sharp bill, it's no real surprise to hear that most serious bird-induced injuries come from these mysterious European herring gulls. As with many birds, these herring gulls tend to become most aggressive during nesting season. If they feel provoked by intrusion, Recruiting humans, they summon the help of other adult birds, resulting in a group attack upon the human. Not fun. For the humans, I mean. I imagine the birds love it. The European herring gull has a reputation as a food thief and a generally aggressive bird, and it very much deserves this reputation. I mean, who expected me to say that it was one of the most significant causes of bird on human attacks? That's pure notoriety right there. Number three. Mute Swan Swans are among the most temperamental birds in existence, rapidly shifting from indifference to aggressive attacks. And as one of the largest birds throughout the Western world, they're pretty intimidating. But mostly, they're just a real pain in the eye. Uh, many birds tend to be defensive of their nests, but given the heavy size of the swans, these animals are especially aggressive in protecting their territory. In 2010, one swan in England became a regular fixture on the news due to its constant and unending attacks on rowers in the River Cam. This swan was so prolific in his attacks that he was issued an anti-social behavior order by the UK courts. This is not a joke. Oh. These animals are capable of inflicting much damage to unprepared humans, although I'm not sure that taking them to court is going to do much to stop it. Might be a nice swan song, though. Thank you. I hate it, too. The lesson here is to stay away from swans generally, but especially during the spring nesting season of April to June. It's in this period that the animals tend to get especially aggressive. Double especially if you're a rower on the river cam. Number two, crows. Chances are that if you were to put five different specimens of the same species of bird next to one another, you couldn't identify them individually. They all look alike, you'd say, in a clueless, ignorant, and offensive manner. But apparently, this kind of interspecies racism is all on us. 
Research has shown that crows never forget a human face, which is particularly frightening if you're afraid of birds or stalkers. Because, in a way, that's what this is all about. Crows are incredibly intelligent animals, known for their surprisingly high level of communication. If, for example, a human behaves particularly unpleasantly toward a crow, the bird will teach the other crows how to identify them. And then, well, I imagine revenge will be quickly implemented. Suddenly, all that bird poop makes sense, doesn't it? You made a bird angry. It's unlikely that any of us will die at the claws of a murder of crows. God, that's sinister. But you can never really be sure. It's fair to assume that these birds could possibly work together to attack humans, should that be acquired. Maybe that Hitchcock movie was a documentary. Number 1. Harpy Eagles don't be fooled by the quirky name. The harpy eagle is an agile and capable predator, if there ever was one. If you underestimate it, you may find yourself having been picked up and dropped to your death before you even realize. It's all very gangsterish. If you're not already intimidated by this animal, just take a look at its wings. With a wingspan of up to 6.5 feet, it should be apparent that this is a very, very scary predator to encounter in the wild. Even though they're huge, they're alarmingly agile at flying through their crowded forest home. And while eagles are deadly enough on their own merits, the harpy is especially good at saving its energy, conserving it for just the right moment to swoop down and pick up its latest target, often while moving at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. That requires some um, serious focus. Eagles are deadly enough as is, but when you factor in a 6.5 foot wingspan, well, that's a whole other level of dangerous. And since it's willing to grab prey like monkeys, or sloths, it's pretty clear that this bird is capable of carrying some serious weight without even having to slow down. Man, we are really poorly equipped to deal with predators like this. Which animal would you least like to encounter out in the wild? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.